Hello and welcome guys. In this video I'm going to discuss about Linux partitioning. Linux partitioning is a very important topic if you running some system which is older version and root file system is formatted as partition instead LVM then you probably have issues to extend the uh, partition. So now uh, how you're going to extend the partition. So I'm going to show you how to extend that in this video. So for now I have one disk which is SDA and this is about 10 GB of size and it is mounted in slash. So this is the root partition and also if I just do DFF and TH to see the type of the file system and it is formatted as ext4 file system. So now your file system is filled up and you wanted to extend and I wanted to add probably another 2 GB in this file system so how I'm going to do that so first thing please make a note when you're extending a root partition you need to ensure that your root partition or your system have backup you have the latest backup available in case if you have run into issue you would be able to restore it and second thing it requires a reboot without reboot you won't be able to achieve this uh, operation I mean if you are trying to extend it without reboot it is not possible so why it requires reboot I will show you so let me just go through the steps and let me just try to extend the file system for root so first thing what I am going to check is I am going to check the disk slash SDA uh, let me just do a listing first to see how many partition under my slash SDA disk. So here I can see there are three partition which is SDA 1, 2 and 3. One is nothing but my slash boot partition and this one is the root and the third partition which is my swap so now I need to extend my root partition which is this one and also please always make a note of your cylinder start and end size it, this will probably help you sometime if you run into issues okay so let me just clear the screen and again run F disk specifying my disk here which is SDA and here I can print it to see the same output how many partition I have and now I wanted to extend the root partition so to extend what I have to do is I need to delete the partition so this is nothing but the partition table which I'm deleting so just delete the partition and specify the partition number so my root partition is 2 I'm just specifying 2 and now if I do a P again just to print the output how many partition I have I have only two and also if you have any partition after your root partition like I have SD, SDA 3 and that is swap partition you won't be able to extend the file system so why uh, what we have to do is you need to delete the other partition as well like if it is a swap then just delete that one as well and just please make a note that you have around 2 GB of swap size and I'm going to delete that partition as well and now if I just do a print okay it is asking for me the partition number it is 3 and now I see only one partition which is my boot partition so now what I'm going to do I'm going to create a new partition again saying I need a primary partition and my primary partition was 2 earlier so I'm specifying the same thing 2 here and it is taking the first cylinder default 26 and you can able to see 
in this output default was 26 and end was 1331 so I'm going to go with the default one here and now you can whether specify the cylinder size and also the size in KB, MB or GB so what I'm going to do is my uh, road partition is around 10Z so this is the size 10Z so I'm just going to make it as 12Z here so let me just specify plus 12Z and this is done and if I just do a print I can see my partition and now again I need to create my swap partition it is primary partition partition number 3 let me just take the default one and it is around 2 GB earlier so I'm just specifying the same thing and if I just specify P here I can able to see everything but for my swap I need to change the type it is currently saying only Linux so for swap I need to change the type here by specifying T and the partition number 3 and for swap it is 82 so I'm just specifying 82 and again if I do P here I can see it is now changed to Linux swap so I'm done with the resizing of my partition so now I need to just write it so once I write this it's it has given some busy error because my root partition is mounted that is why it has given some busy error so you don't have to worry about that just try to run part prop but this will also going to fail uh, not an issue and also it is just given a warning said we need to reboot it to take the effect here you can able to see we need to reboot the system so now if I just do a DFF and edge I can able to see it is the same one and the size is same so what I have to do is I need to reboot my system let me just log in my system is rebooted and come back online okay so now if I just do DFF and TH I can still see the size is around 10 GB and it has it, it is the earlier size and it did not increase because we just extended the size of my partition but not the file system so what I have to do is I need to run this command resize to FS like before we use for LVM the same thing we have to do and specify my disk SDA2 now you can see it has increased and you can it has given a new block size here and if I just do and DFF and TH again and I can able to see my root partition is now extended to 12G so this is how you have to extend it and also just ensure your swap is uh, available but for now uh, let me see uh, my swap is uh, not showing probably because the of the UID uh, let me just do and swap happen a 
and it says that the WW uh, UID is changed and it cannot find the UID so what we have to do is just need to run this command build kit and you cannot see uh, the swap partition just you can just create like this plus SD SDA partition number 3 and now you can see the UID here and you can specify the same UID in slash it is a FSTF file let me just go inside it and paste it here and now if I just do swap on minus a and free minus m to see my swap size I can able to see it is around 2g so this is how you have to extend your root partition if you have run into issue and you need to extend your root partition